channel. In this video, we're going to do a quick houseplant pot and planner tour. And the reason for it is because I keep getting asked a question from all of you guys on uh, where do I get most of my pots and planners from. So I figured why not do a little bit of a quick tour of all of them, as well as show you guys the type of plants that's in those pots and planners. Before we do get started, if this is the first time you're discovering this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I mostly do plant videos. Occasionally, I'll throw in some sneakers and vlogs and reaction, but lately it's been all about the plants. Um, also, if you're not following me on Instagram and you want to be part of my everyday jungle life, uh, follow Crazy Plant Guy, that's me, and uh, you'll see daily posts as well as I do daily Insta stories. Uh, with that said, I actually shot this video for my IGTV channel. It's Instagram's version of YouTube in vertical mode. And originally I was just gonna, you know, transplant or uh, transport that video into uh, YouTube, but you know what, it wouldn't be fair to all of you YouTube audience. So let me just reshoot this uh, little tour. Uh, but yeah, let's get this started. I'm going to be using a gimbal, which will make the shot a little smoother. And I promise I will try and not do my lip smacking because I'm taking some of your feedback. Uh, so over here, this pot is actually from Ikea and you'll see a lot of these throughout my place. They come in different sizes. Right now, the, uh, in this one, this is where I have the prayer plant. Over here, this is actually a three-piece set from CB2. And what I like about these guys is they have pretty cool like patterns and design on them. They're ceramic, keeping it simple and clean as well. And yeah, so over here is a smaller version. I have the penny work there. This is the larger version with the pelia and the medium version uh, with my zebra plant. This guy right here is also from CB2 and I have right now the caladium in there. Over here is um, this pot from Structube and what I like about this is the details, it has that cracked look as well as those uh, circular bubbles, which I thought looked really cool. And right now you have the Peperomia Pixie in that. So over here is my Monstera from Walmart. And he is in a that larger pot of uh, from Ikea. The stand is actually from Structube. So I like this combination, especially with uh, uh, the bigger plants. I have the fig in this one as well as the uh, bomb, which you'll see in a second here. Moving on to the uh, TV section. This is one of the few pots of, uh, that I have that is not white. And this one is also from CB2. You have the English IB vine in there. Over here is, uh, this pot is from West Elm. So it has the mid-century wood stand. ZZ plants in there. There's again that pot from Ikea with the ponytail palm. The pot from Ikea again uh, with the, I can never pronounce that pot, that plant name. Uh, I think it's the Marexi something. Um, this pot right here came from, I think um, Metro, which is a local grocery store. And it had a plant in there already. I forget what that plant was. Uh, 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 I think it was the Athrinium, uh, 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 I forget the name. Anyway, this guy right here is the um, Peperomia. You got the Fitonia in there with the Ikea pot. Another Ikea pot, a Peperomia. This red Fitonia is in this pot from Plant World and I have various sizes of this. I have a larger one, you'll see in a second. There's a pot from, uh, I think I got this from Amazon. There's that pot from my uh, plant world that I was talking about, uh, larger size, and I have a snake plant in there. There's the Stramonthae, Stramonthae with a pot from CB2. So you guys can see that. And again, behind that guy is that larger pot from Ikea. And that's where I have the uh, fig tree. So I'll give you guys a different view of it here. You'll see what I mean. Have it. I actually have the Exolus in there as a filler. Uh, I thought it looked really cool. And again, this stand right here is from Structube. The pot, I think, is from Metro as well. Uh, it came with this Ardesia plant. 
I'm not gonna do the outside, I think. Uh, we'll do more of that when I do an official houseplant tour summer edition. Uh, but there is the bird of paradise, and he's in that um, IKEA and strut tube stand combination. And again, more of those uh, IKEA pots. Uh, this one has a snake plant in there. Mm. Moving on over here, this uh, pineapple pot right here is actually from Structube, and you got my pineapple plant there. I really like this guy. I, this one right here, again, is a three-piece set from CB2. Sorry, this guy right here is actually from CB2, not from Structube. Uh, this one right here is from CB2 again, coffee plant. There's that uh, pot from Plant World. And again, the part of that three-piece set from CB2, a baby fig, and that same pot set from CB2. And I have the Wandering Jew. So, on this side, I have my baby Monstera and this uh, pot right here and planter is actually from CB2 as well. It is one of the few that has the uh, tray that comes with it. So that means there's a drainage hole with this pot. But again, I keep most of my plants in their nursery pots and I just put them in the decorative pot. So um, over here, this guy right here is actually from Walmart and I have my uh, photos in that pot. Here's another one of those uh, uh, kind of stainless steel, or sorry, that's into like a, a metal type of pot. I have my uh, cactus in there. There is that uh, three-piece loom set again from CB2. And I have the uh, Peperomia prostrata in there. Another one from CB2, another Peperomia. This guy right here is from Plant World, State Plant, Ikea and the uh, Moon Valley Friendship Plant and Ikea with the uh, variegated peperomia. So I think that is about it. I do have uh, some more upstairs, but I will save that for uh, the official houseplant tour summer edition uh, that I do plan on doing in, uh, in about a month's time. I'm just waiting for a few more pieces uh, to place my plants in. Uh, if you guys recall my last houseplant tour, I wanted to get some ideas from all of you guys on how I should organize the plant. So uh, it's all coming together. Uh, you guys got a little bit of a preview of that. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions about some of those pots and planters that you do have. Uh, when it comes to me choosing pots and planters, I think uh, my rule of thumb is I just want to keep them simple, clean, um, um, and, and you know, just kind of cool looking that's, you know, not too flashy and not too over the top. And uh, most of them do not have drainage holes. so. I do keep most of my plants uh, in their nursery pots that have the drainage holes. So what I do is I'll water them, uh, I'll remove them from their decorative pot, water them, and then put them back in. So that way they're not sitting in water. But yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It doesn't really matter to me. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Peace. Oh, by the way, again, if you're not following me on Instagram and you want to be part of my uh, everyday urban jungle life be sure to follow that guy crazy plant guy because trust me that is where i am every day all day i'll see you guys soon peace